Testing, testing, one, two, three, ammo up and running. A very, very good afternoon to everyone. I hope everyone's having a blinding day. The weather's not too good out at the minute, is it? I know, I just, um, we just had a nice bit of uh, jerk chicken, me and the missus, marinated it up t uh, 24 hours, had all the trimmings with it, so I'm, I'm getting a little bit fat, but yeah, we just, just had that, and um, just watched a bit of the news and see the weather warning coming on, man. There's a red warning, um, 80 mile an hour winds, and up to 100 mile an hour winds, and I think even parts of the UK are going to get some snow. So yeah, I mean... If you don't need to go out and stay indoors, especially if you haven't got a car and if you're on foot, because you'll probably get blown down the road. But it's funny, isn't it? Do you remember years ago, I think it was in the late 80s when we had the hurricane, and um, I think it was 88, 89, somewhere around, like, but it was like 100 mile an hour winds, and it took all trees down, and a few people died. Uh, There's loads and loads of accidents. But yeah, it's, it reminds me a little bit of that at the minute, because the wind is really picking up. We live up by the coast, by the sea, and um, well, the actual seaside is only two streets away from where we live, and we can hear the, uh, the sea, the actual howling of the water, the waves hitting the um, rocks. So, might even give you, might even give you guys a little treat later on, and um, do a little live, or at least take my phone with me and and um, film some. Um, what's going on over the sea and how rough it is and things like that because people like to see the seaside in this weather um, especially the crashing waves they're like really high waves me and Sam used to go down there and take the dogs down there they used to absolutely love it but um, yeah and it's not getting dark now is it neither till now what's the time now god it's near on it's half past five so we're only just getting dark come on the summer man come on the summer I'm a summer person I was born in 1968, um, uh, July, and I'm a Cancer. So that my star sign is a crab, which means I love the water. And I do, I absolutely love the water. I'm not too keen on going in the sea. Um, many moons ago, I used to obviously go in the sea. And I've got a little story, actually, about when I first met Sam. I took her to Brighton, I think it was the first week where I met her, and I bought a rubber dinghy, um, only a cheap one. And... Um, took her out into sea and it wasn't until many many years later she's probably laughing about it now but it wasn't until many years later that Sam actually confessed to me because I took her right out um, basically if you got out of your dinghy you wouldn't touch the bottom that's how far uh, so it must have been like at least 15 foot deep um, but yeah it wasn't until recently that my missus actually said to me she can't swim and I, I, I find that fucking really funny because she didn't tell me then and what would have happened if, like, it, it, it would have sub, substarred or go up, got, gone over the dinghy? We didn't have no life jacket. It was, it was just a spur of a moment thing. But, yeah, it's crazy, you know, eh? And funny times like that. But we're still together. I didn't kill her. And I didn't. I, I certainly didn't sink the uh, the boat. Funny, isn't it? But anyway, guys, yeah, cheers for all your comments. Um, today, behind the scenes, I've been doing quite a lot. Like, um, I've been finishing my second book, writing my second book making progress on that, um, done a bit of shopping with the missus, uh, done a bit of like watching on YouTube and, and seeing a, f a few bits of what's gone on and I had a lovely phone call this morning from my old mate Yami B, so Yami B rang me once this morning and I spoke to him and we was on the phone for a good good while um, exchanging like old stories and you know having a, we can't wait to have a reunion because we go way way back me and Yami um, at least 30 years uh, we've known each other so yeah he's had my back on numerous occasions in jail and I, I, obviously I've had his back on a few occasions too so um, we used to watch each other's back all the time we was locked up together and we've been locked up together as I say f for many 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 years so yeah Yami's doing really well now um, and when I spoke to him this morning I think he was going to um, his therapy or something maybe uh, speaking to the doctors because as you know he had an accident and he's in quite a lot of pain but yeah he's still pretty, still uh, putting out his good good videos on his channel he's uploading all these good prison stories and he's got some good, great stories too um so yeah great news um we've touched base me and yami like we, we're always talking on the phone we're still close we're, we're just as close outside as what we was inside and um obviously i drive so 
Yami's going to be either coming onto my platform or I'll be going onto his. It'd be, I should think it'd be um, run on a programme. We'll have the cameraman there with us. I'm going to go to, drive down to Yami and um, take him to somewhere special, like a nice restaurant, a nice cafe or somewhere nice, maybe even a park. Um, and, you know, the cameraman's going to be there and we're going to get to uh, go to work on the uh, cameraman with um, some really good, good, good hard-hitting stories. Cat A stories, what we both went through while we were both in jail together. Um, so we can vouch for each other. So, yeah, it's going to be a great podcast. Um, and, hope well, it's going to be next week sometime. Um, so let's get this weekend over with. And it'll probably happen early next week. And... Um, when it's filmed, it will be spontaneously um, filmed on both of our channels. So it'll be put across uh, Yami's um, channel and also also put across my channel. And I'll announce the date to you um, over the weekend. Uh, I'm going to ring Yami in a bit, actually, to confirm the date. I know it's early next week. Um, and he said to me whenever I'm ready, really. Um, because, you know, behind the scenes, I've got a life and, and I've got a big family. I've got a missus. You know, and just I'm just a normal person, just um trying to make a difference, guys. So yeah, um sometimes I don't really find the time to upload every single minute of the day. But um I'm so grateful to my new subscribers and my current subscribers because without you guys I really, really wouldn't be uploading content and um I would have closed my channel down a long, long time ago. Um I haven't set my channel up for certainly not for gain. Um, although I've just been monetized, which is really, really good news my revenue is really low at the minute as you can imagine um because uh, i need some more views and things like that but you know the straw broke the camel's back and you know and rome wasn't built in a day type of thing so slowly surely wins the race um and the great news is i'm monetized and you know i'm running ads on my videos and things like that now so i've got to be a little bit careful with my um p's and q's and my swear words and you know be a little bit that's why i keep saying you know because that's probably when i would swear before i got monetized guys but listen man i hope everyone has a great weekend whatever you do stay safe don't you know you can always drop me a message or a pm for those what are struggling for those that are in recovery from drug addictions um take one day at a time and you know you can do this and you can always, you know, you can always rely on me and, and, and phone me when you're, um, if you think you're going to relapse. And actually, I am mentoring quite a few people off of my YouTube channel um, for drug addiction. And I speak to them on a daily basis. Um, obviously, for confidentiality, I can't break who it is and who I'm, and what's going on. But yeah, I'm, it's really it's a satisfying job. I don't get no money for it whatsoever. Um, I do it just because of, I've got the experience of drug addiction and um, it gives me great satisfaction. So guys, I should have put this one live really, shouldn't I? Because I've heard that you can um, like send stickers and things like that on a live. So I might even go live later on, guys. But for now, stay safe. Have a great evening. Much respect. Peace.